Hi everyone, welcome to another edition of the Java Tip of the Week. First of all, let me say I'm sorry because I was not able to publish any new content over the last couple of weeks since I've been a little bit sick and I could hardly speak. Uh, I'm now okay, so I'm actually happy that I can be able to publish this for you guys. So today's topic, I'm going to continue about uh, the last one, was about Maven. And one of the complaints I usually hear about Maven is Maven is somehow slow. I'm going to show you how we can speed up the build using some of very useful commands to do it. Good. So since Maven free, you're now able to build uh, any project using parallel builds. They're mostly useful when you have very large multi-build projects that takes a long time to compile. Uh, when using parallel builds, you can actually indicate how many threads you want to use per core, or if you want to just use a single number of threads, uh, or if you want to even use more threads than for CPU core. So I have here an example where I'm using uh, the Tommy project, which is actually a very uh, big project with a very small uh, projects inside. Um, and we can see that my, the build using uh, one core, which is using the command mvn clean install minus t one c. So the minus t one c is the little bit that's going to tell Maven to do the build in parallel. And I'm saying that I want to use one thread per core of my machine. Then I would just want to skip the test. It took two minutes and four seconds. Now, in another window over here, I have the exact same build, but without uh, using the parallel build. And this build took three minutes and eight seconds. So it took like one minute and four seconds uh, longer. So using the the parallel builds in Maven on this project, roughly a uh, 33% increase on the speed. Now, uh, if I run this a couple of times, I mean, we're not going to wait here for all the project to build, it's just going to cancel, but you can actually see here Maven uh, building up the reactor build of the project has to build, and you can say, going to do a build with a thread count of 8 using the multi builder builder uh, because I have like eight cores. So if I come here and I say uh, that I want to use two, and let it go, okay, let's cancel it again. And we go here, now it's using 16. Of course, there is like no magic number to understand which ones are better uh, for your project, but usually, uh, Google rule of thumb is at least to use one thread per core. So even using these uh, 16 threads might be even slower than using just 8 threads. Other useful commands that you can use to speed up your build is the minus AM and minus AMD uh, commands that you can append to any Maven build. So let me show you this on uh, another window. So here we have a project uh, also on Tommy and I have here several projects uh, that I want to build. So imagine that I do a change on this project over here, open AJB, JE, but I only want to build the projects that are dependent on open AJB, JE. Usually, if I do MVN clean install, uh, I will build everything. But if I append minus PL, which means project list, and I say open AJB, JE, then I say minus AMD, so also make dependent. This will only build the OpenHAB project plus the projects that are being dependent on OpenHAB. So as you can see, Java E, Java Accessors, Core, the Unity, and Currency Utilities, which are not all the projects that are sitting here. Now, if I want to do the opposite, I can do the minus AM. Minus AM will build all the required dependencies to build the project that I want. So I will type mvn clean install minus pl and I can use the OpenHV core project and minus am. Now you're going to see that the projects that are being built are actually dependencies that are needed by OpenHV core and OpenHV core is the last project that's being built. So if you use a combination of all these commands, the parallelization plus minus amd uh, minus am, uh, you can speed up your Maven build considerably. And of course, if you do the minus O to do the offline, and if you don't clean the project all the time, it's going to be even faster. 
So I hope that you enjoy the Java tip of the week. And please uh, leave a comment if you enjoy it. See you next week. Bye-bye.